Hey, welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, we are going to tune the 49 meter band at uh, 2215 UTC and what you see here is just a radar 2215 UTC um, and uh, from my location in Montreal, Quebec, Canada with the Chinese clone of the Malachite, the Russian SDR, portable SDR and we're going to actually use the noise reduction on and off every time we find a signal. Of course, I will comment on what signal we're hearing. Um, and we're going to check out what is on the bands at this time. So let's start tuning around. I'm starting at 5750 kilohertz. I'm going to go roughly up to 6200 kilohertz. This sounds like some kind of stanag. Actually, some kind of uh, of signal. Now let's continue. Check out what we're gonna get. First signal. Fifty-eight hundred kilohertz. WRMI. This is without a uh, noise reduction. Let's add noise reduction. Let's remove noise reduction. We're going to lower the RF gain here. It's way too sensitive and now it's creating artifacts everywhere. Let's try back that 5800 with the uh, lower RF gain. Noise reduction is good on strong signals, but it's not as good when the signal actually fades out from what we see here. Okay, what else is there? 5850, which is also WRMI. Not very strong. You can see a lot of the the breakthrough. Even with the RF gain at zero, I get RF breakthrough. Fifty nine thirty five WWCR. That's the signal that's actually uh, making the overload across the uh, the receiver. I had to put the RF gain at zero. So 5935 WWCR. 5950 is WRMI. Look at all these spurious signals here from all the overloading that the receiver is getting. Fifty nine sixty is voice of Turkey. Let's try the noise reduction feature on it. Well, it's difficult to tune with the uh, the overload from WWCR. Mali and five nine nine five are not very good. This is where you see the limits of this receiver. It has a problem with that overload. And of course I'm using an external antenna, so... Uh, this is DRM on 6040-ish. Uh, 
And so, uh, what station is in DRM on 6040? It is at this time 2200. Uh, it's 6040. Let's check it out. DRM, DRM. Where do I see DRM? Digital. I see roughly 6040, right? Yes, yeah, Radio Romania. Radio Romania Digital, but it's 22 and not 20. Oh, it's 23. Sorry, guys. Uh, wrong time. It's 2315. My scan is done. Sorry, guys. Still not adjusted to the uh, time change. So it's 23. So that's why Radio Romania and uh, DRM right now, 6040. This 6050 should be uh, HCJB. Unfortunately, it's tough to push the RF gain up because it makes the other signals overload. That is WWCR 6115. Something weak on 6185. And this time it's possibly uh, Radio Educación from Mexico. I would guess that it is. So, um, you know, we've seen this receiver shine in some videos. But I also like to make videos where you can see that this receiver does not shine. And uh, in this case, tuning 49 meter band right now, it just didn't shine because of the overloading that it has a hard time coping with. So it shows you that the uh, the filtering on the front end has a hard time, uh, you know, while other radios do a lot better. Even the ATS-25, I believe, does better than this one. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting, uh, an interesting look. So, and, and you know, these videos are here to give you an idea of the performance of everything. Uh, I always say it, I want to have you guys see the performance as is, and it helps you make yourself an opinion, and maybe purchase a better radio if you want something. Um, you know, it's not that it's bad, but that overload that you see here limits the 49 meter band scan that I just did. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.